Mark, are you stirring your coffee very quietly without chinking the side so I can't hear and you don't have to make one for me? What? No. Oh, he's rumbled the velvet spoon routine. That's been good for years. Midnight coffee? You're not going to go balmy and start phoning up five lives saying you've seen the end of civilization in the bottom of a bargain bucket. Look, it's just I'm on a roll. I've done 6,000 words since 6 p.m. Yeah, I know. You type like you're trying to massacre imaginary ants swarming your keyboard. I've had seven black coffees and I feel like I'm really nailing it. Mark, you're in caps. Looks like you've been in caps for a few hours. Caps still count. I've just drawn an irresistible comparison between Mentihotep the Fifth and Branson. I'm thinking of drawing Branson as a hieroglyph. What do you think? I think maybe you should get quite a lot of sleep. I just need to hit a thousand more words, then a spell check, then I'm done. Now, nah, don't worry about the spell check, dude. You don't think? Nah, they'll have a big spell checker with all the latest words. That's what publishers are these days. Spell checkers who take you out for lunch. Yeah, keep killing those ants, Charles Dickens. I'm safe. In my cubicle, I'm safe. So we offer a pie or what? Uh, Daryl, li listen, the, the truth is, I can't be associated with you anymore because you're a racist. <laughs> yeah, but I thought we were on the same wavelength. You know, the, the sausage, the Euro, Clarkson. There's a difference. Daryl, you can't hate people because of their ethnic background. Oh, right. Political correctness gone mad. No, I hate political correctness gone mad more than anyone. I don't want to teach the world to sing. That, that would be horrible, but... Slavery? The, the Holocaust? That's, that's just not on. Whereas, I have a dream. South Africa, Benetton, it's... You've got to say, fair enough. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, no. Fair enough, you taught me around. I have? Fuck off, thought police. Well, there he goes. The first friend I've made since Nick Bickford in 96. And I'm pretty sure Nick didn't really like me. Both are very funny. Hey man, can't stop, just to say, it's all going super great down there. Y you're not leaving, Jeremy. You've got to stay until at least five, or it makes me look bad. I've made like four sales. I'm zinging. Colin's put me top of the leaderboard. I'm in line for Pizza Hut vouchers. You're king of the farmyard. Y you're in line for the free garlic bread. What's... Oh, fire alarm. Oh, God, look at you. What? A frightened little mouse. It's a fire alarm, Jeremy. Oh, yeah, right, like there's a fire. There's never a fire, Mark. It just doesn't happen. I mean, maybe in a film, but... So what? There's never been a fire anywhere? Not in an office in England. God, you're pathetic. Ooh, fire. Please don't burn me or my possessions. I'm so important and flammable. Is this a test? No, not a test. Come on, Mark. Fucking hell. Get your elbows in. It's all gone backdraft. Hello? Hello. Do I know you? No, I'm a friend of Mark's and I've just had all my dreams smashed by the most punctual electro dub outfit in Britain. Bollocks! He shouldn't be here. There's limited room in the inner ring. That's why it's the inner ring. So, you all look pretty happy being students. Well, I've got news for you. The shitstorm is coming. That's the real world out there. And let me tell you, baby, it is fucked. Is uh, that what Dr. Chomsky and Michael Moore have been telling you? In lieu of a degree. I've got a degree, my friend. Oh, yeah. I was here in the glory years, mid-90s. Britpop was kicking off. Four Weddings had just come out. It was mental. Four Weddings? It's a film, Alistair, very popular at the time, about weddings. Oh, come on. You have seen Four Weddings. You're trying to make out you're this ooh, so clever professor who hasn't got time to watch Four Weddings or Ghostbusters or whatever like the rest of us. Well, I'm not buying it. All I can say is I spend my free time reading rather than sitting around watching Ghostbusters. And what exactly is the problem with Ghostbusters? Oh, oh, look how many books I've got. I must be clever, yeah? Well, let's have a look at some of these books, yeah? Let's see how really great they are. No, Jeremy, don't manhandle the books. Sister Carrie by Theodore Dreiser. The look on her face was one of disappointment. That's good, is it? What's good about that? I don't actually care for Dreiser. Oh, oh, I see. These are just rows and rows of books that you don't really like. What do you do all day? Just sit around not reading them? 
I think you've said enough, friend. Look, Jez, why don't you go and lie down in the recovery position for a while? Oh, this is all bollocks, Mark. You don't belong here with the pointy heads. Tell them. Go on, tell them. Tell them what? That I'm a hard-working, mature student? He's not a mature student. He's been a loan manager for the last five years. He lives with me and he eats ready meals and we play Guess the Revels and we watch Men in Black in front of our massive telly and we have a fucking good time. Loan manager? I, I manage my student loan. I, I manage on it. A April, listen, I was thinking, I, I should really go. Do you want to go now with me? Oh, don't go. We were all going to smoke a joint and read Logue's Homer. You can play Helen. Or, I've got six quid, let's get a couple of bottles of Thunderbird, so you can drink theirs fastest. Hmm, why toast when he can roast? Another roast? That's the third today. What's well, nicer than a roast? Yeah, but chain-eating roast. Who is that? Sophie's dad and her cousin Barney. Barney? It's the wedding tuna, your half. Oh, what? Really? Heartbreak tuna? Oh, no, Jez, just bin it. I mean, not literally. There's no need to be overly dramatic. Freeze it. See how I feel in six months. So, they came all this way just for the tuna. They were dropping Sophie off. She's going back to work tomorrow, so... Sophie's going back to work? But that's outside the terms of the treaty. Six weeks, six weeks till we go back. This isn't six weeks. This is three. Shit. I've got to get in there to stop her lies. What lies? That I jilted her at the altar. Right, technically, I mean, I'm on your side, but technically, that's not a lie. I did not jilt her. Technically, I married her. Well, maybe, but I think what sticks in everyone's memory is the bit where you jilted her. Oh, shit, if you think that, what's everyone else going to think? Oh, God, I've got to get in there. If she wants a PR war, she can have a PR war. I'll Mandelson her. Nobody wanted new Labour, Jeremy, but now we all know how it works. So, this is the place you're going to be running for Mary? Yeah. Blimey. So, this is a pub? Well, it was, and it will be again. Just imagine, me in the pub all day, but no-one can say anything because it's my job, so I've got to be there. I'll literally get paid to go to the pub. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess it won't be quite like being paid just to go to the pub because you'll be doing all the pub stuff, the barrels, the tubes, the debit card authorizations. Mark, do you have to live quite so relentlessly in the real world? OK, Jess, fine, but have you done your market research? Market research? If you build it, they will come. That's my market research. Your market research is Field of Dreams? I mean, a man who made a baseball pitch in his garden for ghosts. That's your role model. Oi, oi. Mr Motivator. <sighs> Listen, I I'm sure this place is going to be great. Yeah, well, you barred. Because I can do that. I have the power to bar. And I won't necessarily be using it wisely or compassionately. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, look at this place. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Still, we can move all this crap out and put a bar in, what, over there? No, mate, no way. Don't change nothing. It's perfect. Perfect? Two pounds doesn't even look like a pub. Exactly. I've been down enough bloody city boy chain pubs with their logos in the foam and disinfectant in the lager, air freshener in the mayo. <laughs> yeah. I want to run a place that makes a difference. Yeah, well, I'm sure we can sort that out somehow. Let's start by getting rid of this. That stays. That's the reason I fell in love with this place. You want a washing machine in the pub? It'll freak them out. What the fuck's a washing machine doing in a pub? Jesus, I need a drink, eh? And boom, they'll have to have one of our organic scrumpies. Right, the thing is, Hans, as I've said before, I really just think we should serve at least one lager and nuts. You know, people like lager and nuts. People like Coldplay and voted for the Nazis. You can't trust people, Jeremy. But maybe I should go solo. I'm starting to have serious doubts about you. So that's great, you're in a band. What's it called? Uh, right now we're called Various Artists, just to fuck over people with iPods. We think it'll set us back two or three years, which is cool. So you, you've got a great canal boat. We're canalists too. We love canaling. Actually, it's our dad's. Right. The upkeep must be a nightmare. I mean, the, the mooring costs alone. He really knows how to murder a vibe. <laughs> You'll have to excuse Mummy. Mummy? Wow, doesn't your mum mind the dog being called? Oh, God, no. Mum's dead. Mummy's just had lots of lovely babies, haven't you? 
Naughty slutty mummy. Right. So have you got a girlfriend? Technically, a fiancé is not a girlfriend. Uh, you know, not, not really. I had a boyfriend till last month. He was a bit hippie for my taste, plus a lot of umming and ahhing, you know. So one day I turned around to him and I said, Benny, it's time to shit or get off the pot. Oh, right, and did he...? Oh, yeah, like a shot. Luz, will you give me a hand looking for the secret bottle of Voddy? Oh, God, vodka. It'll be an orgy. Great. Disappoint three people instead of just one. This is going great. Things are going to happen. Nothing's happening. Look, just forget about Sophie, all right? You're allowed a freebie on the stag, like Pedge in Estonia. What, when he had sex with a prostitute and gave his wife that aggressive yeast infection? It's what people do. Just get on with it. I don't like her. I, I don't fancy her. Do you think Pedge fancied that hooker? Of course he didn't. But he didn't let that stop him. He did the right thing. I just want to go to bed. You can't go to bed. There are two of them. There has to be two of us. That's the law. I'm going to go to bed. You're not going anywhere, Mark. You can't say you're going to bed at nine in the evening. You're going to sit there and smile and talk about something funny you've seen on reality TV. And stop going on and on about the Euro. We're in it now and there's nothing you can do about it, so just... We are not in the Euro, Jeremy. So you can have your squalid little night. I'm going to go and read Roy Jenkins on Winston Churchill. Oh, here we go. Dad's back. Ahoy there! Oh, that's a shame. I was looking forward to having some fun. Dodged a bullet there. Although, maybe not. My attraction to her is so minimal, for once I might have been able to do it for hours. An endless, joyless fuck session. Did you try to get me sectioned? What? No, of course not. Well, somebody tried to get me sectioned. Jeremy, Superhands is here. Did you try and get him sectioned? What? Me? No. Why did you try and get him sectioned? Of course not. Well, somebody tried to get me sectioned. And nobody gets super hands sectioned. Well, I definitely didn't try to get you sectioned. That sounded pretty convincing. I guess it was just one of those freaky urban things, like those people who go on fire for no reason. Yeah. So listen, I've been busting the gut trying to sort the pub. I tried to get European Bob on board, but he's a jerk off. He's still stuck in the crisp age. I mean, what next, buddy? Mead on tap? Yeah, right. Asshole. So, what do you think? The old team, back together? Well, maybe, but we need to agree on some stuff. Like, and don't fly off the handle, but I'm just really not happy with the name Free the Pedos. I mean, can't we call it something more normal, like the Swan and Tomato? Yeah. Or Compromise. The Swan and pedo. Yeah, OK, sure. And what about lager and... Details. Listen, we need to get some fucking proof of ownership, right? We need property deeds. We need to get keys cut, borrow some start-up wonga for the overheads. So, let's go over to Mary's. Ah, uh, could be a problem there. Mary, see, Mary's been sectioned. Mary's been sectioned? You're kidding! Jesus! Who's going to be next? £2,000. Oh, God, the Halifax Top Savers account is finally dry. The last of the Corrigan millions. Mark, you dick. You've got it all wrong again. Hello? What? Everything's going to be fine. The other guy is a woman. They're both two women. So it doesn't bother you, her being in a relationship with someone else? Well, a bit, but basically, not really. I mean, me and this Gail, we're just eating from different sides of the plate. I play woodwind, she's on brass. But Elena's betrayed you. How does it make a difference that it's with another woman? Because it's hot. I mean, even a dried-up, desiccated old bran flake on toast like you should be able to see that. If I'm a bran flake, he's a slutty sugar puff. <sighs> so where do you know this rich bitch from then? She's not a rich... Mary's a very good friend of mine and Mark's from uni. Super hands! Oh, what? Oh, because it's a computer, you think it's made of spiders' webs and magic? It's just a metal box, Jez. They're indestructible. Really? Because it looks like it's not... Hey, guys! How's it going? Oh, God, I can't get over how lucky I am to find you, Jez. Canadian I'm... Mary. She probably thinks I'm getting nowhere with my music, and that's why I'm doing removals. I'll tell her all the cool bands do removals. I'll say Franz Ferdinand have got their own van. This new Martin Amos coming out. It just feels like everything's coming together, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess it does. Not too sad, though, what with your mum dying and everything? I know, no. 
who needs mums? <laughs> That's my motto. No, she wasn't there for me when I did my ballet exam. Not here for me now, so fuck her. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good attitude, probably. So, right. Listen, I'm looking for a couple of hip young gunslingers to run the pub for me downstairs. Well, that's yours. You own the pub. I used to run a pub. Are you kidding? Would you be interested? What? Us run a pub? Well, I've, I've never really thought about it before, but now that I do, I think I'd probably like to do that more than anything else in the world. <sighs> Uh, yeah, uh, I am very particular about the kind of establishment I run, though. It needs to make a political statement, yeah? Very strong political statement. Does it? Are you sure? Because I really don't think it does, if it's a pub. Well, that's my position, and it's a deal-breaker. Where it all starts. This is a good idea. This is a great idea. It's exactly the sort of thing they're looking for, and it's exactly what they're not expecting. Just do it. Alan, Mike, Barbara, hope you don't mind if I butt in. Mark. Don't worry, I'm not going to tuck in courtesy of the expense account. I just thought this might be a good opportunity for me to share with you my vision Mark, of... Mark, can this wait till tomorrow? Can JLB's future wait till tomorrow? I don't think so. And I think you'll agree when you hear the great idea I was just too darn friggin' scared to spill at interview. Mate. I know you want to reroute the phones. This was definitely a good idea. Simple as that. Reroute the phones to everyone's mobiles. 24 hour face to face round the clock customer freaking service. It's like, hey, I'm clocking off, finger to the customer. Well, not anymore because. Probably best if you go home now, old son. But I've worked with blind kids. I'm the full package. Think about it. I'll have my action plan on your desk first thing in the morning. This was definitely a good idea. There's no chance this wasn't a good idea. What? What's Hans doing? He's honking on his crack pipe. Crack? I've got company. Oh, relax. Oh, I'm Mark. I'm in the 80s. I'm dying of heroin in a puddle in the corner in an advert. Drugs are fine, Mark. Everyone agrees now. Drugs are what happened to people, and that's fine, so shut up. Look, I don't want to make a scene, but I really think... <laughs> What? It's Gog! I got the commission! Well, congratulations. Shove it up your ass. Shove it up your ass. I've got a commission. It's big and it's fat and it's going right up your white bread ass. Jez, for God's sake, I'm pleased for you. Oh yeah, sure you are. So pleased that I've gone straight to the finish line on my enormous bike while you're still jogging along for miles in the rat race with you and all the other rats. Exactly. I, I think it's great. Great. Well, in that case, you won't mind if I take you out for an incredibly expensive meal to celebrate. I'm not that hungry. Bollocks, we're going. All I have in the dad bank is my record of punctuality. Without that, I've got nothing. Come on, flat B. Was it you who so coldly locked us in here to die? Or the security-obsessed wanker in flat A? Ring Zara again! No, my battery. I've only got, like, a milli bit of power bar left. I suppose a phone of your own might be quite useful right now, yeah? Yes, it would. And I'm an idiot, and any attempt I make to escape the debt-driven rat race must be punished immediately and in the most brutal fashion. OK? Happy now? I suppose we do need to get out of here quite soon, before the air supply runs out. What? Well, in here, the air supply's going to run out sooner or later. What? I'm not an idiot. Why does that make me an idiot? I, I need to make one call. Just one call. <sighs> Just one? I'm not having you being profligate with my bar. Hello, directories? Yeah, Thornton Heath Locksmiths, please. That's two! They're putting me through. It counts as one. Hello? It's just possible you could save my life. Yeah, I've, I've got myself locked in my flat, if, if you can believe it. Uh, the, the address, uh, yep, the, the address, it's um, King's Road. King's Drive. King's Drive, and the, the number, the, the, the number? 52, ooh, 54, uh, 50. It's in the 50s. Uh, it's four, is it 40, 40 something, it's a 40, 40. Perhaps you could come to King's Drive and walk up and down and, and I'll shout through the letterbox. 42, 42 King's Drive. 42, we're pretty sure we live at 42 King's Drive. Well, that's customer service. He called me a prong. Prong. Okay, Mark, give me the phone. Yeah, but the, the, the police or, or the fire brigade, if we tell one of them, they'll alert the others, because they're all friends. I, I mean, not friends. But... Mark, I know this phone. It's not one of these fakers that can run forever on one red millimetre. This phone doesn't fuck around. I never used to let my battery run down. I miss you, phone. Ambulance? Pizza. 
You can't waste the bar on pizza. Yes, I will hold. Don't hold! I'm hungry, Mark. I didn't have any breakfast. Or would you have us both starve to death? Yes, I'd like a large... Pizza. Look at him. The I greedy gobfather to... gobbling pizza on his godson's time. Are you posting yourself out piece by piece? I'm trying to catch the light with my watch face. Send out an SOS. Morse code. A, a passerby might notice it. Uh-huh. Maybe you'll attract a naval captain who will come and rescue us in his frigate. Ooh, I tell you what, though. What? I really need a wee. Maybe in a corner, or we could make an area that became disgusting. No, I'm, I'm not having it in here. If, if you need to wee, there's a letterbox. What, you mean fop the hose out of the slot? Well, needs must. Oh, right, and what if a passerby decides to try and turn off the nozzle? Hmm? What if a squirrel wants a sausage? I'm not just sending my member out into the world solo to seek his fortune. I look after him and he looks after me. That's the contract. The letterbox is not a glory hole for urine. Right. I'm going to this christening. I'm going to bloody well kick the door down. Are you serious? You're going to kick the door using one of your legs with enough force it's going to be smashed open? Yes. Mark Corrigan is going to kick down a door. Oh, this is too good. Don't start yet. Just let me get settled. OK. And go, go, gadget leg! Mm, mm, good. Good first kick. Of course, you are going to have to smash it out of the frame, so only about another million more kicks like that and we'll be out. Fuck you. I'm not wearing the right shoes. Oh, right, yeah, wrong shoes. Yeah, sure. Bummer. Ah! I am so screwed! I'm so utterly, utterly screwed! Look, dude, Zara's gonna call back, but, you know, until she does, we're in the nether zone, yeah? Time moves at a different speed in the nether zone. We need to relax. You can't relax. We, we've got to fight, worry, speculate, tuck, pace, swear. Why? Because it's an emergency. In, in an emergency, you watch breaking news and count your tins of butter beans. You don't sit in the garden and put on Kiss FM. Dude, we're here for the duration. Let's chill out. We have an obligation to be anxious. It's a mark of respect for the gravity of the situation. Let's. Get to know each other. Oh, for God's sake. OK, um... Oh, oh, OK. If you had to, if you had to, would you have sex with me? It's a stupid question. If you had to. If the men came and they made us with their guns. Oh, I don't know. I suppose maybe I could do it just so long as you didn't... What? Enjoy it. I think maybe I could make it through as long as I knew you weren't enjoying it. Hang on. You're saying... You could rape me, but you couldn't make love to me. That is so you. That is you all over. That is not me all over. OK, here's a history one. What would you have done in France in the war? Would you have joined the resistance or not? I'm not getting into that. Oh, well, you want to, though, don't you? I've tickled your historical G-spot. Jeremy, you could at least try to take this seriously. You, you are the godfather. What do you think about this, Jeremy? Do you think this is too high? No, that's fine. Totally fine. Why don't you just jump out of the window? Uh, I think I could probably do it. I'd, I just need to lower myself the initial portion and, and then drop. Mark, we're not in Roadrunner. Jeremy, I'm a father. I, I need to be at my son's christening. I'm not a park bench white lightning guy. Besides, after weeks of negotiation, I finally got Sophie to agree to James Ian rather than Ian James after her dad. Baby Ian. Hmm. Ian Chapman. You'd have a baby that sounded like a solicitor. Exactly. So I need to make sure she doesn't swerve off-road at the last moment. Do you really think it's impossible? <sighs> well, I mean, I could make it, but... You think I couldn't do it, but you could? Yeah, if I needed to. I'd just jump over the trellis, bounce off the wall, hit the ground, parachute roll, basic moves. Well, go on, then. Nah. Why not? Not in the mood. Could I jump? Might make it easily. More likely splatter like a blood-filled pumpkin. What am I going to tell Gog? What happened to all the time? Where did all the time go? We had loads of time. What we really need to do is create a powerful sense of dread. See, the longer the note, the more dread. God, that's terrible. It's worse than Daryl's bloody core on Glay. Oh, they're useless. I wish they were all robots. I wish I was a robot. Maybe I could punch through a wall. Yeah, OK, right, ready? One, two, three, let's go! Watch out, they're gonna get you They're gonna get you, baby They're coming after you Watch your back, they're gonna get you They're coming after you Look, 
Look, no, all right? That's not shit, but just no. Hans, you realise we've only got 39 minutes left? All oh, right, so now we're working. It's not okay for me to smoke my crack. Yes, exactly. Exactly. What, so next you're going to boot me out for not wearing a jacket and tie? Jess, is there anything I can... It's under control, Mark, OK? Everything's under control. Will you please get back behind the glass? But uh, as your manager, I just... I just get back behind the glass. There is a very clear, if invisible, line. Here be beauty, there be pie charts, OK? Uh, look, I've been here since eight. I'm just going to go and grab a coffee, all right? Yeah, well, if you're leaving now, don't even fucking dream of coming back. Oh, God! Oh, what a night. We'll eat and laugh and I'll make out I think Colin Cooper's a dickhead too. When actually he's doing bloody good work with a difficult team and some very testing targets. <laughs> What's funny? Oh, nothing. Doesn't matter. Is it something to do with the case? Uh, yeah, it is. Kind of. Yeah? What's going on? It's really... Honestly, it's nothing. Did the uncle show up? They haven't found the missing security tapes from Ryman's. No, no, it's nothing like that. Anyway, that doesn't matter anymore because she's definitely innocent. Is she? Why? What came out? What happened? No, no nothing came out. It's just... I got to know her a bit and it's obvious she wouldn't do something like that. You got to know her a bit? Yeah. We bumped into each other. We've been texting. We're going to go out for a drink. For God's sake, Jeremy, you're not supposed to speak to the defendant. It's against the law. The only seat in the cafe was next to her. What was I supposed to do? Blank her? That's against the law. The law of social niceness. Jeremy, you've got to break this off. You've got to tell her to stop texting you and that you can't meet up for a drink. Oh, right. So suddenly I can't go out drinking with the defendant. Well, why not? Well, I suppose people might think it would make you less impartial if you're trying to bone the woman you're meant to be judging. Oh, that is typical. Jeremy can't be trusted to judge the woman he's sleeping with, but... But Tony Blair can, yeah? Jez is contempt of court. Look, Mark, I'm a musician, in case you'd forgotten. Yeah? I answer to a higher law. The law of, if it feels good, do it. Oh, that's a great law, isn't it? What's that? Gaddafi's law? It's the musician's law. <laughs> Colonel Gaddafi could not lay down a bass hook, Mark. That should be clear, even to you. God. No, oh, Jeremy. Right, so, what, you've had more thoughts about the track? Yeah, yeah, we have, actually. OK, great. Yeah, we thought we might smash your brains in with a baseball bat. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. See, we want our money, and we're feeling a little bit clumsy. Whoops. Look, Jeremy, I've told you. It's out of my hands now. The Honda people are very hard to please. Oh, Honda, Honda, Honda. Fuck Honda. Nice uh, packet of crunchy nut you got here. Pretty expensive, as I recall. Not so rich and successful now with a piece of wood in your face, hmm? Oi, cheers. Look, Jeremy, we, we can come back again. He's got the message. You're going to pay, aren't you? No. All right, then. We've got our answer. Let's go. I've got to hurt him on principle. Hit him with a fucking bat, Jez. Why do I have to? Why don't you do it? Punch him with the glove. Punch it? I can't even make a fist. This is the whole point about contract law. The whole point of a contract is to make sure this kind of thing never happens. Don't answer it. What if it's Honda? It's not going to be Honda. Could be Honda. All right, but a word out of place and you're getting the bat. Hello? Honda? Uh, oh, really? Oh, well, that's great news. Oh, well, I'm so pleased. Dave, call the police. There's people here. They're trying to kill them. They're trying to kill them. Uh, hello, uh, Dave. It, it's, it's Mark here. I, I'm an old friend of God's. D don't worry. We're, we're not trying to kill him. It, it's just uh, he's, uh, he, he's never had sushi before. He thought we were trying to poison him. Uh, it's, it's all right, God. You, you're not meant to cook it. It's supposed to be raw. <laughs> can, can he call you back? Come on, open up. For fuck's sake, it's gig time. What's going on? Barney's only locked himself in a bloody bog. What have you done to him? Nothing. Jesus. He's a fucker! Has he been sucking you off? No, of course not. Yes. Or maybe once. What the fuck are we gonna do? We don't know how to play his mu our music. We're the front men. I was planning on just waving a maraca and giving the hotties my sex eyes. 
Why the hell did you get him to suck you off? Well, I don't know, do I? I was just bored. It's rock and roll. We're backstage. Someone's got to suck someone off. Iggy, Bowie, Lou Reed, Tupac. They're all sucking each other off. You're on. Shit, we're on? What, what are we going to do? Barney, Barney, come on out, mate, please. You go out and keep the crowd happy. I'll sort Barney out. All right, all right. But just don't, don't suck him off, all right? And don't make him suck you off. Just get him out there without any more sucking off. Jerry said he doesn't want coffee. He said he'd make his own later. He said, like he was joking, that your coffee tastes like horse piss but I don't think he was really joking. Try a bit harder, Jeremy. And then he hit me. He did not hit you. Look, Mark, you need to face facts. Jerry's a wanker. Kick him out and kick me back in. No. Why not? No reason. Is this the Dobby thing? No. But is it? Of course it's the fucking Dobby thing. I knew it! You tried to profess your love to my girlfriend, who I was trying to propose to. You fucked up my life. So? What do you want me to do? I want you to apologise. Fine. Obviously, I think we're both very sorry about what happened. No dice. I'm really, really sorry, Mark. Say it properly, Jeremy. I'm sorry. Nope. All right, fine. I admit I shouldn't have come on your picnic. And? What? Look, I'm sorry, all right? Finally. And if you like, I'll lay it on with a trowel and tell you how I like you. Oh, Jesus, he's going to say he loves me. And even... Apology accepted. Well... Thank you. Come on, Mark. We're into Kelmscott Manor and the Icelandic landscape. Maybe I do sometimes wonder about Jerry, but I've made my bed, so I've just got to... Well, maybe I can help with that. What's he doing? Mark, look, if you're really not into the William Morris doc, why don't we change gear? The Sopranos? Ruskin. Oh, John Ruskin. Art patron, draftsman, watercolourist and philanthropist. Yeah, listen, um, I'm afraid I have an announcement to make. I've discovered that in order to keep himself interested with all this garbage he pretends to like, Jerry drugs his head off. <laughs> Would that be pathetic? I saw you put something in your pocket. I didn't like what I saw. Coke, Mark. Jerry is a coke head who loves to take coke. No, you put that in there. I took it out, which is a very, very different thing. N no, you put it in earlier. You put it in at an earlier time. Oh, what a terrible thing to accuse me of. Come on, Mark. Time to knack off and we'll get down to some Ruskin and a reading. The, the thing is, Jerry, I I'm not sure I could live with a drug head. This is ridiculous. It's laughable. Why are you trying to get rid of me, Mark? You don't believe him. Maybe I'm not quite as interested in William Morris as I thought I was when you first started to go on about him. Well, why didn't you just say? I can't just say things, Jerry. What if I don't want to go? Well, we can't go back now. The, the atmosphere is soured. We, we have no choice. No, I can live in a sour atmosphere. Well, I can't. Yes, you bloody can. Tough. I'm going to go to my bedroom now, and I'll be coming and going as I please. I can't believe he called the police. I've got to get out. I'm meant to be on stage any fucking minute. What the hell were you thinking? Why didn't you just pay for it? They should be paying us to eat that crap, Mark. Stealing things just makes everything very cheap. Plus, you know how I feel about capitalism. Yes, confused. Look, Mark, I'm supposed to be on stage right now. I was wondering, maybe you could somehow take the rap for me. We could say I was in your thrall, like Hindley. No way, Jeremy. Right now, April's probably getting chatted up by some student who's also worked out she's got the magical combo of beauty and low self-esteem. OK, OK, here's the plan. Good cop, bad cop. I say I'm ill, Mr Rashid comes in, all sympathetic. You stand there, hit him, gently but firmly, until he stops not moving, but resisting. We exit post-haste, yeah? We murder Mr. Rashid. What is it with you and stealing and murdering today? You're mad on it. Right. Come on, let's just do it. No, Jeremy, there's procedures, forms. We need to go through the proper channel. All right, all right. Since you're so set on a life of crime, no point in adding criminal damage as well. Woo! Oh. Great, cheer up, mate. We're outlaws, out on the lamb. Like Bonnie and Clyde, Butch and Sundance. I'm going to leave a tenner and a note.
Come on, mate, let her go. It's for the best. Look, it might take us a month or so just to see what kind of drug or cognitive therapies might help Mary with her condition. All right, I see. Your little world is threatened by all the amazing Jack Nicholson's and Robin Williams's burning so bright, you've got to keep them down with your chemical kosh. Yeah, come on, man. Set her free. All she needs is a vodka and tonic and a nice little lie down. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can sign her out. She's not well. Your dream is just everyone on the omnibus, grey, eating grey sludge. That's your dream, isn't it? No. We'll look after her. She's just wacky, you know? She's basically fine. She's not fine. She's temporarily mad. Oh, right. You're with them now, are you, Mark? Well, tell me, is it mad to be diagnosed with a mental disorder? Or is it, in fact, much more mad to get up every morning to go to your boring job so you can print out lots of meaningless documents? I'm sorry about this. It's the 60s. He thinks he's living in the 60s. How about this? You let her go, and we promise, promise, to keep her restrained. Tightly tied. Look, I appreciate how passionately you feel about your friend, but there's no way I can sign her out. I I'm sorry. Look, uh, Mary wanted me to give you these deeds. I'm not sure why or what. OK, well, fair enough, mate. I've said my piece, but you win. After all, you're the expert. OK, guys, let's go. So, Jez, wh why is she giving you these? Uh, those? I don't know. They're not important. Just give them to me, really. What? The deeds to the pub? Of course they're important. In fact, why do you even need them? Oh, yeah, didn't I, didn't I tell you? Yeah, um, she's giving us the place, so I just hand them over, really. She gave it to you? Well, yeah. I mean, it's all perfectly legal, probably, Mark. I don't see what you're worried about. But that's... Obviously, I, I mean, she's not in her right mind. She was fine when she gave us the pub. Well, are you sure? Because I guess giving away a pub that's worth several thousands of pounds for free, that kind of suggests you haven't exactly got your best thinking cap on. Mark, we're not exploiting her. Once we turn the pub into a cash cow, we'll give her some of the cream. <laughs> yeah, right. Look, I just think in this situation, Mary needs an impartial advisor like me to help her decide what's best. God, you're loving this, aren't you? Holding the deeds like Mr Monopoly with his top hat and his iron. Do you really think if you don't give us her pub, she's going to let you screw? <laughs> oh, God, that is low. That is really nuts. Are you saying I'm mad? Is that what you're saying? Are you going to try and get me sectioned for simply following my dream? Look, I, I just think the best thing is if I hand these to the authorities here and let them decide. Hi there, Doctor. Listen, I just wondered if you could take care of a deadly... He's got nuts. Get off! You need to section him. He's out of his mind, boss. I'm not out of my mind. I just <laughs> need to give you some documents. He's a loony. He was running around with his cock out before saying it was on fire. He's lost it. He thinks there's a pigeon in Catalonia that's in control of his legs. I really don't. Jeremy, tell him. Well, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, I mean, mostly he's OK, but maybe... Maybe you should keep him in for observation just for a couple of days. Jeremy! Are you... Look, if there's anyone who's going nuts here, it's not me, it's you! That they could section you for trying to section me! If you try to section me, Mark, you'll have crossed the line and I will section you, so help Look, me! Look, guys. You've had your fun with the sectioning. There's going to be no more sectioning today. So I was going to twat this geezer, and then it turns out they're both Polish. You were going to twat a geezer? What, were you playing the Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels video game? Mark, it was brilliant. And then afterwards... God, I can't really tell you. What, did Jeff fart in a pint or something equally disgusting? No, it was much better than that. But I can't tell you. Oh, go on, you can tell me. No, I can't. I really can't. All right, well, if I tell you, you have to absolutely promise not to tell anyone. Like, on your mum's life. I promise on my mum's life. OK, well, basically, Jeff... He, not really, but a bit, got off with this girl. He... Oh, my God! I've hit the mother load! This is what I've been waiting for! I can really fuck him with this! No, Mark. I only told you for a laugh, so that we could have a laugh. It's all a great big laugh. You promised not to tell. Hitler promised not to invade Czechoslovakia, Jeremy. Welcome to the real world. But what about your mum's life? What about it? What does that even mean? What are you going to do? Kill her? Mark, please don't do this. 
Jeff's my mate. We've got a bond. Oh, right. So who's your real best mate, Jeremy? Me or Jeff? You don't have to ask that, Mark. That's obvious. <laughs> Didn't actually have to say. Don't even have to decide in my own head if I don't want to. Nope, I don't think I'm going to. My brain can't make me. So there. So what do you think? I don't know. It's in your face. It's just... I don't like it. Oh, well, I do. I just don't. Oh, right. Well, this is it, is it? What? Look, this is the end of the Hair Blair Bunch. Uh, we are not the Hair Blair Bunch. Whatever. Sorry, this is the end of Spunk Bubble. This is the end of Mama's Kumquat. This is not the end of Mama's Kumquat, Jez, because I never agreed to it being Mama's Kumquat. Look, if this is it, if this is John and Paul, 1970, then I need money for the equipment. This is like your whole Balearic bullshit, isn't it? One minute it's all, oh, I love you, man. The next it's, where's that 50 quid you owe me? Look, I'm just saying, I need money and... Hey, listen, mate. Shit is... As shit does, my friend. Oh, look, Jez, I'm sorry, mate, this is all bullshit. We can't just let the Hair Blair Bunch... We are not the Hair Blair Bunch! Hey, it's Sophie, please leave a message. Answer phone, yes! Hey, Sophie, really sorry to have missed you. Have a great time on my stag. Bye, let's speak soon. Although, probably not, because I know when you're busy and that's when I always ring you. Guess what, Jez? What? Malcolm's headhunting for a co-manager of his Indian call centre. Right, so? There's a chance, a slight but very definite chance, that I could be off to India. And you know what that means? Won't be able to get married. No? Of course not. Sophie couldn't ask me to turn down the opportunity of a lifetime. Couldn't she come? Oh, no. There'd be visa issues, endless complications. No, I'm afraid to say this could put a great deal of strain on the whole relationship. Brilliant. Well done, mate. He's nibbling, but he hasn't bitten yet, so I'm just going to get Gerard to email through my CV and then wow him with a big pitch. So, you just go? Oh, Jess, don't look like that. You could always come. You could start again, find a new career. I could be your butler. That could work. I'd be the Maharaja, you'd be my white concubine. I could probably live like a king on a tenner a week. I'd do fuck all. Just lie around smoking dope and then maybe have a bit of a go on the washing up before you got home. I'd probably get a record deal just because I've been to Carnaby Street. I'll be the coolest man in India. And maybe we can get one small servant. We'll need a servant. These leftovers are from two nights ago, and he never empties the bin. Oh, God, I bet it's bursting at the seams with used condoms and porn. Fuck! Ah! Oh, there's a... There's a dead beast in our bin, Jeremy! All right, keep your voice down. A dead dog in our bin! How has this happened? I don't know, Mark, but there's no point shouting about it. Well, why not? Jeremy, is this mummy? Look, earlier, in the 4x4, I had an accident. I mean, the clutch on that thing. Oh, right. Brilliant. You've killed mummy. Well, what the hell is it doing in our bin? I had to hide it. Aurora had me looking for it for about four hours. And she made me make posters. But the bin, Jeremy, the, the bin's for household waste, not beloved pets, etc. Mark, if I can just get rid of the dog corpse, there's a chance I still might get laid here. Oh, right. This is sort of like a disgusting version of the Great Egg Race. Bad news, bad news, bad news. Jesus, Jeremy, one bus crash. What about all the buses that made it safely to their destinations, huh? Yeah. Yeah, this is such bullshit. Yes, I suppose the news should just be a dispassionate list of all the events that have occurred the world over during the day. That'd be good. Except, of course, it would take forever. Firm action to move on nuisance drinkers from the Copthorne that's, area. That's that's our picnic. You can't see the kettle chips. <laughs> what the hell? Whose business is it where you do your drinking? I wasn't drinking. I was having a picnic. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Mum. We were having a picnic. Tell Dad it, it was a picnic. You can't see the crisps. We had three different flavours of crisps. Explain to him. And, and scotch eggs. Yeah, no, really, I'm, I'm fine. L listen, I've, I've got to go. Cockknobs. Mark, don't worry. These things, they happen for a reason. It might not seem like there's a plan, but there is a plan. Oh, right. You believe in a god, do you? Yes, I do. And you might find it a comfort and Nancy, a Nancy, there's no evidence for God, whereas Ofcom has published guidelines. 
So does God. It's called the Bible. Oh yes, the Bible. And I wonder what the Bible's view is on you doing it. In the shower and the garden centre and up the bum. I mean, that's all right, is it? That's in the Bible, is it? Or do you think maybe that's not in the Bible? Mark! I'm sure it is in the Bible, somewhere. Probably in Corinthians, there's a load of weird shit in there.